Good morning everyone. Welcome to Concepts of Today. We will discuss the current affairs of 4th April. When is International Day for Mine Awareness is observed every year. So when it is observed? It is observed on 4th of April. And what was the theme? The theme for this year is Safe Ground, Safe Steps, Safe Home. The United Nations General Assembly has approved to observe International Day for Mine Awareness on 8th December 2005. Which Union Minister has launched the six new and rare reference materials developed by the National Dope Testing Laboratory? So the Union Minister is Anurag Singh Thakur. He is the Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports. The reference material would help the entire anti-doping community to strengthen their testing capabilities. This material was indigenously developed. The National Dope Testing Laboratory in association with National Institute of Pharmaceuticals Education and Research CSIR Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine has developed this material. Which Union Minister has attended the 8th Corporate Advisory Board Summit hosted by the Chandigarh University as part of Azadika Amrit Mahatsav? The Union Minister is Anurag Singh Thakur. He is also the Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting and the theme for this summit is India's roadmap to meet the sustainable development goals and elevating the standards of education with new education policy. When was the Indian Army celebrated 258th Rising Day of Army Medical Corps? So, it was celebrated on 3rd April 2022 and the motto of AMC is Sarve Shantu Nirmaya. The meaning of this is let all be free from disease and disability. And the current Army Chief General is M.M. Narvane. The AMC provides medical service to army personnel as well as to civilians, but to civilians during disaster and natural calamities. In which year Jal Jeevan Mission Har Ghar Nal Se Jal Jal Jeevan Mission Har Ghar Nal Se Jal has been launched. When it was launched, it was launched on 15th of August 2019. The government of India has launched Jal Jeevan Mission to supply adequate to supply adequate and safe drinking water. Remember, adequate and safe drinking water through tap connections. This is also important. Tap connections by 2024. Year is also important to all rural households. And it will provide 55 liters of water, 55 liters of water per person. Which country's economic zones authority has signed an agreement with the Indian company Adani Ports and SEZ Limited to set up an Indian economic zone? So, which country? It was Bangladesh Economic Zones Authority has signed an agreement with Indian company Adani Ports to set up Indian Economic Zone. So, Indian Economic Zone will provide facilities for the Indian investors. So, who want to set up their business in Bangladesh? And Indian Economic Zone is going to be the second largest one after Japanese 
economic zone the first is japanese and the second one will be bangladesh world bank has provided 250 million credit 250 million dollars credit to which country to strengthen financial sector policy policies and to bangladesh it has provided 250 million dollar credit and this will help to strengthen their policies to sustain growth following the covid-19 pandemic and to enhance resilience to future shocks india's exports remember india's exports has hit a record high of dash billion dollars for the financial year 2021 to 2022 so it is 418 billion dollars india's export has hit a record high of 418 billion dollars and Sri Piyush Goyal is the Union Minister of Commerce and Industry who has launched the Jal Shakti Abhiyan Catch the Rain 2022 campaign to ensure water security and it was launched by President Ramnath Kovin. This campaign will continue till 30th of November. And during this event, okay, third national water awards has been awarded. Okay, we'll see the best state. So Uttar Pradesh, okay, has received best state in water awards category, and it is followed by Rajasthan. Tamil Nadu okay the third national water awards in the best state category first it was Uttar Pradesh second Rajasthan and third Tamil Nadu which Indian settler has won silver medal in men's singles of Orleans Masters 2022 badminton tournament which Indian settler has won silver medal Mithun Manjunath Okay, and Tomo Junior Popov has defeated Mithun Manjunath in the finals. Which country to host the women's FIH Hockey Junior World Cup 2021? Remember women's hockey junior world cup. The host country is South Africa. And the capital of South Africa is Pretoria. Pretoria is the capital of South Africa, and the currency is South African RAND. According to Economic Outlook Survey, FIKI, India's GDP growth estimated at dash for the financial year 2022 to 2023. So it is 7.4% according to Economic Outlook Survey, FIKI. India's GDP growth. What was the official mascot of the FIFA World Cup 2022. It is live. Is the official mascot of the FIFA World Cup 2022 live? And the host country for the FIFA World Cup is Qatar. The official sponsors of FIFA World Cup is Qatar Energy, Crypto.com, and Byju's. Remember, Qatar Energy, Crypto.com, and Byju's are the official sponsors of. FIFA World Cup Which institution or organization has launched the State of World Population Report 2022? It was released by United Nations Population Fund has released State of World Population Report 2022 and the title of this report is Seeing the Unseen the case for action in the neglected crisis of unintended pregnancy. As per this report, between 2015 and 2019, 121 million unintended pregnancies globally each year due to lack of safe 
मॉडर्न मेथड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन ओके विच स्टेट हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद सैमसंग एंड अबीटेक टू सेटअप स्पोर्ट्स डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस सेंटर सो विच स्टेट हैज साइंड एम ओ यू विद सैमसंग एंड अबीटेक इट वॉज मणिपुर वॉट वॉज द कैपिटल ऑफ मणिपुर इम्पाल एंड रिसेंटली वी नो द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मणिपुर इज एन बीरेन सिंह सो If you like our videos please subscribe to Concepts Hub and all the best for your future videos